right, our next speaker is Anati Mishra. She'll be talking about uh, deploying with confidence, uh, involving best practices with Argo CD. Thanks, Anati. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Myself, Anati Mishra. I'm here from India. I'll be talking about Argo CD and the best practices that you can use to involve Argo CD inside your cluster. I know we are here after lunch, you all might be feeling sleepy, but believe me, this session will be an interactive session and stay tuned. So a bit about myself. My name is Unnati Mishra and I'm here from India. I work as a member of technical staff too at VMware and I graduated last year. And apart from work, I love to play with dogs and I love dancing. I started contributing in open source uh, since 2019. So this will be the agenda for today's session. First of all, I'll be introducing Argo CD. We'll see the CI CD workflow with and without Argo CD. We'll see the integration of GitOps with Argo CD. We'll see the benefits and the best practices for GitOps deployment with Argo CD. And at last, we'll see the demo part. So a quick question to you all. How many of you have used Argo CD before? Yeah, that's great. So we'll start with the basics. So Argo CD is a continuous delivery tool. It is having a Git-based approach that is used to monitor and compare your cluster. Or you can say it as a Kubernetes controller that can manage your applications or the cluster. We'll see the CI CD workflow without using Argo CD. So this is the basic application workflow that you are using for deploying any cluster or making any application. So Jenkins is a third party tool, which is a CI CD tool, continuous integration and continuous delivery or deployment. So you can set the Jenkins script so that it can test your code by doing the conformance and upgrade testing. It can build the image or it can push the code to the Docker hub. And then when you update the Kate's manifest file, it will apply the kubectl commands and the cluster is deployed along with your configurations. So this is the basic workflow using Jenkins. But there are some limitations using Jenkins as a tool for this workflow. Because you have to send the password or it, you have to share the credentials with Jenkins, which is a third party, which can pose security threat to your application. This is one limitation. And second limitation is you don't have any track of whether your application is deployed successfully or not whether some pod are like down. So you don't have any uh, track of it. So this is the limitation of using Jenkins in this workflow. Now we'll see how GitOps is integrated with Argo CD. Integration of GitOps with Argo CD involves setting up a Git repository as a source of truth and deploying Argo CD inside the cluster. So whenever you update the Git repository, what Argo CD will do, it will fetch the changes from the Git repository and it will sync the changes to the deployed cluster. So you don't have to manually apply any changes to it. So Argo CD supports Kate's YAML file, Helm charts and customize.io, which is a template that is used for generating the Kate's manifest files. So Argo CD makes sure that above two are always in sync. The Git repository is the desired state and the deployed cluster is the actual state. So Argo CD compares the desired state with the actual state. So in a more clear picture, whenever some developer updates the Kate's manifest file, Argo CD detects the changes and makes sure these two are always in sync. So it will pull the changes or sync the changes in the deployed cluster. So we'll see the CI CD workflow with Argo CD. So the CI part will remain same. CI part will be done using Jenkins part. And CD part will involve Argo CD. So Jenkins will test the code, build the image, and push the code to Docker Hub. And whenever you update the Kate's manifest file, Argo CD will sync the changes and apply the changes into the deployed cluster. So there's one advantage in using Argo CD. You don't have to share the credentials to the third party. As Argo CD is deployed inside the cluster, you don't need to share the passwords. It will automatically sync the, or like it will fetch the passwords inside the deployed cluster. 
and you have a track of whether your application is up running successfully or not using Argo CD. So some effective methods of making your project repository. So this is a best practice to use to divide the code part into application source code and application configuration. Because you don't want your whole application to build again and again. Whenever you make a small change inside a co application configuration or the manifest file, suppose you want to make the replica or the pods as four. So you don't want your whole application to, to be built again and again. So you can divide your code into application source code and application configuration into two Git repositories. We'll see some benefits of using Argo CD. First is automation. So you don't need to apply the kubectl commands manually for deploying the changes into the cluster. Argo CD automates the whole process. Continuous deployment. Whenever you make change inside the Git repository, it will sync the changes. So continuous deployment. Version and access control. So as you are using a Git based approach, it is having the version control and it makes it easier to everyone to collaborate inside your project. Next is monitoring and validation. So Argo CD monitors the changes from the Git repository and it validates the change inside the deployed cluster, whether both are in sync or not. Uh, next is disaster recovery. So uh, due to some technical or physical issues, some pods are not running or like some pods are down. So Argo CD will compare the changes from the desired state to the actual state and it will bring up the pods which are not working. Scalability. Argo CD can be used for small scale application and large scale applications also as it can uh, manage many clusters simultaneously. Best practices for GitOps deployment with Argo CD. You need to define your infrastructure as a code. That is, you need to define all your code inside a Git repository using a Git-based branching model. So using Git, you can, like a person, like if you're making a project, then it can be easy for everyone to collaborate in your project. So you can deploy your application after testing. Like if someone make changes directly inside, your, inside the cluster, then it should be tested and then it should be deployed. So using a Git-based branching model helps here. Encrypt the sensitive data. You should use password, ma like password management systems like APIs and other tools to encrypt the sensitive data so that no third party can access that. Regularly review and update the GitOps process. You should be up to date with the updates and all the other things that are used for maintaining the updates for GitOps. Now in the demo part, we'll install Argo CD inside the cluster. We'll configure Argo CD with the application CRD and we'll test the setup by updating the deployment.yaml file. So first of all, you need to have Docker installed in your system. Next, this is the documentation that you can use for the basic information using Argo CD inside your cluster. So this is the getting started guide in which you have the information how to install Argo CD, what are the prerequisites that you can install before using Argo CD. So first of all, we should have Minikube inside our local system because it, it creates a single node cluster to test our application that we are going to create. So I have Minikube running, so I'll start Minikube and it will create a cluster inside my local machine. So you need to download Argo CD Brew install Argo CD and then you need to create a namespace Argo CD. So Minikube is installed and we'll create a Argo CD namespace.
by installing the yaml file it will install all the dependencies that are used to that are used by argo cd to use to control the operations we have the argo cd server argo cd redis database and all the other components that are used by argo cd to control the operations but the argo cd server is in the form of cluster ip we'll see cube cd will get service of the namespace argo cd the argo cd server is in the form of cluster ip but we want to access the server so we need to port forward it so here's the command for port forwarding cube ctl port forward of the namespace argo cd as you can see argo cd server is deployed inside the minikube cluster in the 443 port so we have to change the port so that we can access it from a local machine Eighty eighty from our local to four forty three, so that we can access it. So if we go and access this IP, we can access the Argo CD server. But for that, we need to have the admin credentials. So if we go to the IP. we can access the argo cd server but we need to have admin credentials which are stored inside the argo cd namespace so we need to fetch that password so the command for that is argo cd admin initial password and the namespace argo cd cube serial get secret argo cd initial admin secret and then the namespace argo cd we want the output in the form of yaml file so we are writing dash o yaml and this is the password that we have received so this password is in the base64 encoded format so we have to decode it echo the password and then base64 hyphen hyphen decode so we have to take the password before the percentage sign so we'll paste the password and then we'll access the argo cd ui so as no application is deployed we are seeing no application available So now we will deploy a simple application. I have this folder in which I have a dev folder, then application dot yaml, and inside the dev folder I have deployment dot yaml file and service dot yaml file. Three files are there in total: deployment yaml file. we have the api version as version 1 kind is deployment as it is a deployment.yaml file in the metadata we have the name of the application in spec we have the name of the app, app we have the replicas and inside containers we have the name of the image and then the container port in the service.yaml file we have the api version as v1 the kind is service and then the name is my app service in specs we have the port and the target port in the application.yaml file you have a minimal application spec in this documentation which you can follow for creating any test application
we have the source and the destination here source will be the source where the argo cd will compare the changes that you have applied in the kids manifest file target will be head and the path is dev as i have the files inside the dev folder the destination is the server which is the default kubernetes service namespace is my app now automated self heal is true that means like whenever any pod is down so it will self heal itself it will compare the git repository with the deployed cluster and it will bring back the changes we'll apply the changes cube shell apply and then application.yaml so we have the application running here and it has synced the changes from the git repository so inside this you can see the summary like cluster information namespace when it was created and all the parameters the image name this is the manifest file and all the events like when was it updated when was the operation completed at what time you have all the information here this is a desired manifest file and this is the live manifest file so live manifest file is the file in which the cluster was deployed desired is from the git repository so here i have two replicas inside my deployment yaml file suppose i want four replicas or six replicas so i can change the file and then i'll update the git repository or the kids manifest file so i'll make the replica as four i'll push the changes the changes are pushed and then we'll see the git repository so the dev folder was updated now argo cd will sync the changes in few minutes inside the deployed cluster the now the pods have become four as i have changed the replica as four so you don't need to apply it manually argo cd will fetch the changes from the git repository now here i am changing the name of the app as my argo app and i am updating the changes in the git repository or the manifest file now everywhere the name will be changed see the file is updated the name is updated here and inside the server also argo cd server we'll see the name updated my argo app now suppose if someone updates the cluster directly so you should have a configuration so that no one can update the cluster directly you should only like argo cd always fetches the changes from the git repository as a source of truth so no one should modify the cluster directly from the local machine so if i do cube cdl edit deployment and i'll change the replica as 4 or something else i'll change the replica as 8 so as per the argo cd operations it should not accept the changes because the source of truth that is the git repository is having different configuration so it will delete all the extra pods that are created here so you can also like if someone wants the changes directly to be applied inside the cluster without argo cd to compare the changes and then apply it 
because argo cd take few minutes to apply the changes so you can set up some configuration for admin access like few developers will be having the access to make the changes directly to the cluster so you can set up something like this so this was the demo part do you have any questions That was a great demo. Thanks. It's great. Uh, my question is, uh, or two things. I mean, so Jenkins, you don't need Jenkins. And um, I, am I right? And the other question is, is for those you know teams, they have different people. They might be working, looking at Flux, for example. Um, what can you say about the potential collaboration there using, for example, Flunk, Flux, you know, and Argo CD? Is that viable? Both Flux and yeah. Argo CD. Yeah, and the, not um, with the same organi an organization might have the developers, you know, preferring Flux, or certain element or the operations teams, they might prefer certain elements of Flux, and might oh. prefer certain elements of of uh, Argo CD as well. So, can there be a, a marriage there um, between the two in an organization? I haven't worked with both. Like, I don't have much idea about it, but I'll come back to you. The first question, though, so Jenkins, you're essentially with Git repository. Like we have a way to track the changes with Jenkins also, but it is a bit complicated process. Right. Yeah, so we can use Argo CD instead of that. Okay. So the developer shouldn't have to worry about Jenkins. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, no. Uh, to your second question, I think I saw a LinkedIn post from uh, Alexis from VBooks where he was talking about how Flux can work with uh, Argo CD today. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, any other questions? Thanks so much, Unati. Thanks, everyone. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter.